sort of working. But um, now we are we ended up here in the final. And then it's a one hour, one hour shoot off here. Okay. Yeah. Mine was in the nine and this was in the ten, so oh, that's too bad. Through, which is, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and he was uh, afterwards he was facing a Russian national yeah, motoring, yeah. so Yeah. But you were facing Alberto Fioli. Yeah, so that was a close match, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, forward in. Yeah. Yeah, forward in Russia shoot quite well. Yeah, yeah. So this is the final junior men. Yeah. After this, we'll get into the uh, into the big games. Now we'll see a French match, Kevin Lopeo against Ryan Gosser. And Kevin is going to start. As we said earlier, Kevin came in first, so he should take the match. But we shall see. Kevin from Saint-Marc, who actually sent quite a numerous team over here. He starts with a nine. On his way to the final, Kevin Bad, uh, Clément Borelli from uh, Morocco, 6 0. And then uh, Suhaib El Fahimi, which we just saw earlier in the uh, bronze medal match, also 6 0. And Ryan Bad Suhaib Karubat from Marrakesh as well. And then to beat the Spaniard we just saw earlier, Aidan Bordon, with in a much closer match with 6 4 and consistent errors of around 29 and 28. So both starting with a 9 and a 10. Nine and ten. His last error was a six. So Kevin is taking the first set and leading 2 0. Ryan coached or supported by Jean Charles Valadon, the French international, who told me earlier that he was quite okay with his performance yesterday but didn't like his performance this morning. Why we're going to see later. He didn't make it to the finals, but rather got eliminated in the round of 16 against his French opponent, Adrien Le Riche. Second end will start, and Ryan will start again. And Larry is back with us. Okay, 29-25. It's a good set, 29. Yeah. Yeah, he's been shooting consistently on his way to the final. He's been... In the quarterfinals, he's been doing uh, two oh, wow. ends of 30 yeah. and one of 29. In the semifinals, 29-29-28 against uh, Swaib and Fahimi. So <laughs> both guys know how to find their way yeah, yeah. in the center of the target, as Ryan just proved us. And 
the line, just mm. out. Left, with, same as the first set, left. So. <sighs> Ryan putting some pressure on Kevin. Yeah. Probably we won't, you won't want to get up right now, stand up and tell <laughs> him to move aside to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I tend to tie the set. His stance was very strong. He didn't shake at all. Nope. Nope. Took his time. Ties the set. Good stuff. Yeah, so we can see the level constantly rising now. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to build up. So the two finals, or the three basically, the three big finals, compound women, four compound men then, yeah, and then yeah. recurve women and recurve men. Yeah. And everybody's warming up already back there, so Elena's shooting, Pierre-Julien Deloche is shooting. How's Naomi doing so far? She's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's feeling good. Yeah. Two, we got two Naomi's in, in the finals. One in the, one in yeah. the compound and one in the recurve. True, so, so both yeah. Naomi's are doing yeah, yeah. <laughs> quite well. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to see Naomi er, later on, the first Naomi to compound Naomi. Yeah. Naomi Jones. Also both on the national team, I would presume. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ryan taking on that set. We're so we're going to see at least two more sets. Uh, Kevin won't be happy with that. Yep. And when your opponent shoots a seven for the first arrow, that does take a little bit of pressure off yourself. You can relax and then... Like um, Ryan did then, he just shot a 10, yep. relaxed. And it look, looks like another seven, so Ryan should be feeling quite confident that he'll take this set now. Kevin, yeah. Kevin, sorry. Kevin, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, it's a big lead. Definitely, five point gap already. But yeah, how does that, I mean, how do you play your opponent in that case, in those shoot-offs? Do you have a strategy when, when you go in those shooters? Do you have a strategy laid out or? Um, not really. I mean, I just shoot. I shoot my arrows, shoot my shots. Um, make sure I'm happy with the way I'm shooting. But if my opponent does <laughs> shoot an eight or a seven, uh -huh. it, you know, you, you do <laughs> think, okay, fine. That's, you know, it's, it's a bit of pressure off. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. So you know what your opponent is doing basically all the way down the road. When you're in matches like this, you. you um, you don't have a choice, but but to know that your okay. opponent is, you know, know what you're doing, because the commentators, you know, are calling all the scores out. Yeah. Um, certainly in um, in qualifications and in, in in the early rounds, no, I don't have, don't have a clue what the other opponent's doing because yeah. you don't, you know. You're just doing your stuff. Just do then. your thing, and yeah. yeah. But that's great to see, and you could also see that Kevin didn't move at all. He was just standing there, confident. And hammering in another 29, so uh, 28, 28. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So yeah, like you said his level's been quite high. Mm -hmm. that's the, I think that's the least he did, 28. So mm. it's always very consistent, 28, 29, and 30s. So maybe for topping it off, I think they made a mistake over there. Set three? No, they didn't. It's all right. It's 5-1. It's all good.
There might be a smaller issue. There seems to be a mistake. Bear with us. Mm -hmm. Larry's gonna let us know in a heartbeat what is going on. <laughs> I do, yeah. At the moment, <laughs> I have not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make that a couple heartbeats, <laughs> but. I think we're good on the set score. Yeah, 5 yep. 1. Everything five seems one. to be good. That one's alright. 7 7 9. The score is alright. 28 23. So the score is 5-1. Oh, I think they were just uh, waiting for confirmation. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it can be as easy as that. How much does that distract your archers? Something like this going It can it distract, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been in, in finals like this before now where all the um, power has gone down. Um, and I've had to, in, in between a match, I've had to sit down and wait. And then they decided to go off the old school uh, whistle blowing mm -hmm. um, and um, someone's you know the judge stood behind you with the countdown clock so it can be off-putting you know yeah. but um, certainly at the international level uh, you know you should be able to c cope with things like that and yeah. deal with, with things like that yeah. Kevin definitely does cope with it yeah oh, that was very quick yeah, yeah. both arrows high yeah So we'll see what Jean-Charles Walladon, maybe he's going to tell him something to, to move his sights or not. But that was a long shot, that one. Ryan, this is his, I think it's going to be his last shot. Yeah. Oh, you got and turn. finish is beautiful. Yeah, good lad. Seven to take the match. Ten. And it's a ten. Yeah. Again, yeah, twenty-nine. Yeah. They call it a nine star, but from our perspective, it looked like a ten. I think so. Yeah. So he maintained his, his level, of, uh, which is quite high. Consistent shooting. Kevin winning. The gold medal over here. The first stage of the Indo World Cup of in Marrakesh. And now the compound women are coming in. So hopefully they will put the correct target faces on. Yeah. <laughs> for the compound women. That would be interesting for them to shoot on a recurve target. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I really hope they check. Is that going to be in a set mode as well right now, or do they still keep counting arrows as they did? Um, I think it's no. I think they it's the best of 15 arrows. Okay. So it's the, yeah. So yeah, we'll be leaving the set system now until we get back to it in the, for the recurve bronze. Well done, both young archers. Yeah. Kevin taking gold and Ryan taking silver. Well, that means there's lots of potential growing then. France. Yeah. Fra yeah. France has a great system with a lot of young archers coming through. Um, they've got a lot of regional academies and a lot of regional camps and great facilities and great investments. So yeah, it's a, the French are a, a very good team. Yeah.